All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Oxazaria from GMS Houston. And um, I'm going to get right into this lesson. Okay, and I'm going to start off in the book of uh, Exodus, the first chapter, in the first verse, okay? And um, it says, Exodus 1 and 1, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, and Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad and Asher, and all the souls that came <clears throat> out of the loins of Jacob was seventy souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already, and Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceeding mightily. <clears throat> and the land was filled with them. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, <clears throat> and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, in mortar and in brick, and in brick, and all manner of service in the field, and all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Okay, and the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of the one was Sh 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 Shafra, and the name of the other was Pua. And he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, okay, when you helping them give birth, all right, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live, okay? And um, the reason why I'm bringing this out, okay, <clears throat> is because... They said, let us deal wisely with the children of Israel. Now, I had this article right here pulled up, okay? And this is from uh, End Time Headline News. It says, watch, mega church pastor Creflo Dollar welcomes and promotes Georgia Democratic nominee for governor who supports abortion. Her. Look like she belong on a a, a box of of, of uh, cereal, okay, or a box of uh, pancake mix, man, okay. Stacy Abrams, okay. You can't get her to quit smiling. Since you, as we see, she's running for uh uh governor of Georgia, okay. And who's who's welcoming and promoting her? Creflo Dollar, okay, a so-called man of the Lord, a so-called pastor, okay, and we see what she's about, and see, the reason why I'm bringing out this scripture, because this is, again, the Egyptians dealing wisely with the children of Israel, man, okay, let us get some, some, uh, shoe shucking, shoe shuffling, shoe shine, Negroes, in office, okay, and, and and set up these false pastors, okay, so we can further our agenda in keeping these people under wraps, okay. 
And this is modern day Egypt all over again. As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture. Let's go to the book of Revelation. All right. Salakia. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, <clears throat> and verse 8. <clears throat> and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom, and it's talking about here in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, all right, which spiritually is called Sodom for obvious reasons, okay, and Egypt, you see? So this is the modern day Egypt. You even got scriptures that say the Egyptians shall fight against the Egyptians. Okay. That's talking about these Babylonians, man. Okay. This is modern day Egypt. Okay. It says, <clears throat> and their dead bodies, okay, spiritually dead, man. Okay. Our people are gone. They follow after people like Creflo Dollar and, and Stacey Abrams. Okay. These false pastors and these false leaders, okay? And they cause them to err, as the scripture says, okay? And they keep them in a, a dead state of mind, okay? It says, and their dead body shall lie in the street of the, the great city, great in what? Great in confusion. Because a lot of our people follow after people like this, man. The majority of our people, they, they are lost in the sauce. Okay? It says, and their dead bodies, this is Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, Babylon the Great, okay? The, the land of great confusion, okay? Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, you see? Where also our Lord was crucified. Where our Lord and Savior was exed out. And Creflo, he aids in that. Okay? He aids in that. He helps to push that agenda also. But going back to the to the uh the subject at hand, that's these Egyptians dealing wisely with the children of Israel. Okay? And on in this particular lesson, mainly just dealing with the tribe of Judah. Now I had this pulled up. Right here, and this is a, a demographics of abortions throughout the United States, okay? It says non-Hispanic white women had the lowest abortion rate, 6.6 .6 abortions per 1,000 women, and ratio 117 abortions per 1,000 live births, and non-Hispanic black women had the highest abortion rate, 23.8 abortions per 1,000 women, and ratio <clears throat> 386 abortions per 1,000 live births. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. But again, when you go to the hood, what do you see? Planned Parenthood, okay? You see... uh. Of course, CVS's and Walgreens. And what do they go get out of there? Plan B's. Okay. And that's these Egyptians, again, dealing wisely with us. Meaning, <coughs> trying to keep us low in number. Okay. They're trying to wipe us out. Now, let me bring out another scripture. I got it pulled up right here. This is Psalms 83 and 4. It says, they have said, okay, our enemies. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You see? Because when you go back to the account in Exodus, they wanted to kill all the males. You see? Because they know that the male carries the seed. Oh, well, we'll kill all the males and we'll breed them out. But see, the Lord said he wasn't going to do away with us. Okay? And now, here it is. We're at the end. Because see, Esau wanted to get, a, get rid of us. Okay? 
So because he's jealous that we got the birthright. Okay. So here it says Psalms 83 and 4. I'm going to read this again. They have said, come and let us cut them off. That's what they've always tried to do. Cut us off. You see, they tried to cut us off from being a nation. Okay, they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. But see, now we're at the end and the truth is gone out. You see, St. Matthew 24 and uh, 14, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And now it's a wrap for you, Esau. But you, you gave it the old, good, the old college try, man. But to no avail. Because the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, got the children of Israel. Jack. Okay. And this is just something I was meditating on last night while I was at work. I was like, yeah, man. They've always tried to deal wisely with us. And they always set up people of our own nation. Okay. To lead our people astray. To get our women into these uh, uh, abortion clinics. To, to, to have these false pastors leading and 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 uh upholding this type of behavior you see but him and her stacy creflo they're gonna be destroyed man okay and they're gonna wake up to everlasting shame so with that you know lord willingness was edifying just a quick hit man you know and uh i'm gonna close and with that i say shallow warm